So you might be trying to figure out how you can transfer your eSIM from one specific phone to another. Now in this case, we'll be talking about between an Android and an iPhone. Now, unlike with iPhones, if you're trying to transfer your eSIM from an iPhone to an iPhone, there is an option within the setup cellular panel where you're actually able to go ahead and transfer from a nearby iPhone. So that's a really cool feature. But between an Android and an iPhone, there's no compatible way of actually transferring it natively. The only way, and this is very important, the only way to go ahead and transfer your eSIM from an iPhone to an Android is by contacting your carrier and getting a different QR code. So let's say you have an eSIM on your Android phone and you wanted to bring it over to your iPhone. What I would do is I would basically go ahead and call my cell service provider. So let's say you had T-Mobile or if you have AT&T, whoever it is, I would go ahead and basically get their you know, contact information. I would go and type in their phone number and I would go ahead and give them a call. Now I would call them and say, hey, you know, I basically have a new iPhone or a new Android, whatever it is, and I need to go ahead and get an eSIM. I need to transfer my eSIM over to my iPhone. Now what they're going to do is they're going to give you some information probably, and from there, they're going to email you a QR code. Now within that QR code, all you're going to have to do is probably open up that QR code on the specific device, and all you're going to want to do on your other device is to go ahead and make your way over to basically where however you set up your cellular. So on iPhones, you make your way over to your general settings here. You want to click on cellular, which is right here, and you want to click up set setup cellular. So click on setup cellular, and this next panel is going to come up, and you'll be able to use a QR code to actually go ahead and set up your eSIM. So what you want to do is you want to click use QR code. And this little camera thing is going to come up. Now you should have your QR code set up probably or open on another device. All you're going to want to do is basically scan that QR code whenever it comes up. And from there, you can go ahead and set up your device. Now you can also go ahead and click enter details manually. And you can type in all this information if you really want to, but it's more complicated. So that is basically how to do it. There's no native way, like I mentioned, to transfer it natively. You will basically have to go ahead and contact your carrier in order to transfer your SIM card or eSIM from one you know, specific device to another. So in terms of that, it kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that will me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.